Rise Up CCD fans, welcome to SA National Drag Racing Series Championship Round 1 hosted at Midvale Raceway. This is a new 4 series event that's going to be ongoing throughout the year. The first one is at Midvale. From here we're going to Desi, then PE, then Kalani. I'm going to try my best to film all 4 events for you guys. I'm going to try and make it happen. Um, in the meantime, sit tight, enjoy the content. We are going to jump into yesterday. This is a two-day event at Midvale. So we are going to jump into yesterday's footage, which was practice and qualifying. They are having another practice and qualifying right now. But let's jump into yesterday's footage. Let's see if this works. <laughs> We got a 9.95 quarter mile run in the right hand lane at 222 kilometers per hour while Lawrence Pillay in the left hand lane down at 10.64 at 200 kilometers per hour. <laughs> foot of 1.6 seconds that's a 10.25 second quarter mile pass at 222 Money. That's what a 1.8 second 60 foot looks like and he's quarter mile of 12.14 Mr. Dion Bochit and a 9.27 second quarter mile at 
long shot away from the start line and done a quarter mile time of nine. Leon is back in his booster Suzuki GSXR. quarter mile in a cracking time of 12.9 seconds at 1.40 BMW RR, that's a S1000. Yep, he got some happy gas there. Hit the button, Corbus. That's a 1.4 second 60 foot there by Mr. Corbus Van Fake. And his ET is looking at 8.7 seconds. 250 fights. Despite all that. Absolutely sick Evo, looking like a five second quarter mile car. Second out of 60 foot, quite respectable. But managed to cross the quarter mile in 13.47 seconds, and he done it at a speed of 138.3. Seven three second quarter mile pass looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what a one point four second sixty foot looks like on a BMW R R. 
the quarter mile of 8.75 seconds. Give that man a bell. 250, one kilometers per Bang. That's what a 1.6 second 60 foot looks like. And that's what a 10.17 second pass looks like in a blue BMW. Yes, sir. 223.8 kilometers per hour was the time. Shout out to the boys from Strada. those phones out because this is going to be pretty exciting if they both get out the 60 foot. Making traction but making action. That's what's going on today at Midval Raceway. We got a 10.4 in the left hand lane at 232 kilometers per hour while the right hand lane, Mr. Sean, gave us a 10.9 at 186. Kid Sigur Money put in the effort though and what are we looking at? 11 seconds flat in the left hand lane at 194 kilometers per hour while Kit in the right hand lane under 12.3 at 193.3 effort was given. more races like this, no delay but burn out, get to the line and go. What time to look pretty and look nice. Give us the time, Lani, give us the time. Thank you, Mr. Eugene. Show these old out that. Oh, off he goes. And that's what a 1.860 foot looks like in the Ford Capri. And when you paint the purple, it looks like that at 12.1 seconds down the quarter mile at 184. Well done, Mr. Okay, boys, so that's going to be it for day one. I have decided that I will post one long video instead of two videos. Um, there was a lot of issues today. So there was a lot of issues today. Uh first run, he damaged the sump and we had to fix the sump, so I lost a lot of time not filming. At the moment, this is day two. We are going to have a look at a few practice qualifying runs. Thereafter we will start eliminations. I'm going to try and keep you guys updated as best as possible with the classes. I will put up something on the screen to show you guys what the classes looks like and I will try and keep you guys updated as best as possible. If you guys haven't done it already, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. If you do enjoy the content, share it with your friends on Facebook, help us grow this channel and that will make it possible for me to travel and film all four events for you guys. The first Devon car up. Let's have a look what it does. Left hand lane exits at 60 foot at 1.8 seconds while the right hand lane does it in 1.6. 
Looks like Michelle got the lead there. And 10.7 seconds for the right hand lane at 201 kilometers per hour. While Levati, the left hand lane, gave us 11.37 and 212 kilometers per hour. Equally respective times for both those drivers. Brilliant. The day is off okay, to a good so the start. Okay, so the commentator is going to read the it's comments. I'm going to try my best Hata, to capture Sudikia, the times that the commentator gets us. If I hear in the editing that we can't hear the times, I am going to put them in for you guys. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave it and let the commentator give them to you guys. Here's a V8 going up against the GDR. Like I say, this is just practice runs to get some temp in the tracks before they do track bike. So let's have a look at this. And then once the racing starts, I'll inform you guys when the official racing starts in the knockout. While uh, Eugene does an equally impressive 1.8 seconds for the rear wheel drive, old school, that's quite cool. 9.99 seconds for the left hand lane skyline at 225.5 kilometers per hour, while the right hand lane, Mr. Eugene van der Nest, gave us 11.88 kilometers per hour. Night, night in the left, 11, 8 in the right. Seconds, quickest time for the day, starting early in the morning from Mr. Terry on the carcass in the right hand lane, 236.6 kilometers per hour. While the left hand lane, 14 year old young girl gave us a 12.78, super respectable at 180.4 kilometers per hour. Welcome to Bitbar Racing. You just joined us. It seems like he's leaking water. I don't know, they just stopped him now. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's leaking something. They'll probably get that fixed and he'll be right back at it. Look at the BMW got the lead, but in typical Nissan form, he reels him in. We got a 1.8 second. 60 foot from the right hand lane and a 1.5 from the left and a quarter mile is looking like a 10 second flat for the left hand lane in the skyline at 224 kilometers per hour while the right hand lane gave us 11.53 at uh, 196 So for those of you who don't know this is the fastest push rod in the world his best is a 973, he just ran a 974 yesterday and you bet we are on board with this one. of races ladies and gentlemen both vehicles under 1.4 seconds 60 foot we got a 9.4 
1.5 seconds 60 foot from the left hand line and 1.7 in the right. 9.7 second pass for the left hand line and this is 40. So naughty, seems like he's a bit upset at the moment. He blew the head gasket yesterday late in the afternoon and when we left the track last night they were still busy fixing it. They only fired it back up this morning and sounds a bit strange and I think naughty is not having it. So naughty is just gonna drive it and see if he can get it fixed. But right next to naughty there's Rogues with a 1400. He ran a 96 that is a new personal best for him and we believe it's a new world record for him. We like it. So we believe it's a new world record for Rogues as well. We will have a chat with him in a while. He's just busy working on his dad's bucky because his dad's bucky broke down. Uh, they were running side by side. So he's just busy fixing that and then we'll probably have a chat with him right after that. And he's going to be pointing up again. <laughs> So we're just about ready to start with round one. Quick rule overview for those of you who don't know how this is going to work. If you jump out, if you cross the center in front of another competitor, you're out. If you cross behind, you're good to go. Then you can get back in your lane, fetch and pass him. And if you break out of your class, you're out. So let's say you dial the 13 to 13.9 second class. If you run at 12, you're out. So that's the rules. One thing that's a bit funny today is they're not going to run in classes. Whenever your pair is ready, you can come up and you can run. So we might see, for instance, two 14 second cores followed by eight second cores. It's going to be a mix and match. I'm going to try and keep you guys updated as best JP, as possible. JP, it's going to be virtually impossible for me JP. to know out of 
six the competitors so I'll ever many that are oh, who's running in one class but I'll try my best to inform you guys as much as possible the the back end of but the let's have a look at what's going to go down here everyone oh, is pretty much lined up and like I said before if you guys do enjoy the content I would appreciate a like a comment down below and maybe a share I would appreciate that stay tuned for the racing one thing I can tell you guys is the 14 second and slower classes is the A class 13 to 39 is B and so forth the first car is class A he's got a buy run so all he has to do is break the line so he is running slower than 14 let's have a look Brindley is playing the smart game with his with his bike. How is that for a perfect dual burnout session? Great way to open up eliminations, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just joined us, welcome to Midvale Raceway. This is the opening of the South African Drag National Challenge at Midvale Raceway Round 1. Okay, so the left hand lane takes the win, the Supra takes the win. That is the 11 to 12 second class. Let's see who's up next. Left lane takes the win with 11.3 seconds at 194 kilometers per hour. Clause B, so this should be 13 second class. John up against Moise, ladies and gentlemen. Moise in the left hand lane, driving the BMW 335i, going up against Sean in the right hand lane. Evident that Sean is going through some technical difficulties just by the sound of okay, his motor. Okay, left hand lane, the BMW takes this one if he does not break out. Let's see the time that he runs 13.05. So he'll be able to go through to the next round. If he were to run into the twelves, he would have broken out. But that in zero, that puts him onto the that takes him onto the next round. So this seems like a buy run in the thirteen second class. She'll be able to go through to the next round. She left it way early, so no chance of breaking out. And exactly, 15 6. So she's safe on to the next round. So this seems to be the 10 second close, not 11 by mistake. Left hand lane, the Porsche will take the win. 10-8, the Porsche takes the win. Left lane, take hold the win, ladies and gentlemen. 10.8 seconds, 206 kilometers per hour. Now next, we've got a huge... C-close, so this should be 12 seconds then. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
into the race, but left hand then looks. Left hand lane takes the win with a 12 2. Left hand lane takes the win with a 12 2. Next up is Eddie with the Cupra going up against Robert in the boost at Honda. In the left hand lane, this ladies is the and gentlemen, Portuguese, 1.9 TDI, CSI, Pisa. Going up against Robert Finlay in his Honda Civic. The right hand lane. He's about class P vehicle with a breakout. Left hand line, the Cupra takes the win. Left hand line takes the win with a 13.37 and 168.3, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Mr. Eddie. Okay, this is class A again, so this is 14 seconds and slower. The 14 second breakout for class A, ladies and gentlemen. Left the lane takes the win. 15 second flat at one. This is going to be an action packed one. We got Kellen from Strada okay, so Performance this is in the, the left hand lane. Going up against Covilland Clay in the right hand lane. All the way from KZM. GP on KZM, ladies and gentlemen. This car has been making very consistent low 10 second passes. So I'm pretty sure if you're going to put your foot wrong against that car, you will get punished for that. That car is running extremely consistent today. Kellen from Sada. As I just told you, that car is running very consistent. 10.3 seconds. For the boys. Next up, Quivers on the bike going up against Sally. Holding it down for the ladies so far. Left line on the 
लेफ्ट एंड लाइन कोई व्यवस्था एक्स्ट्रा बन Right hand line, that all takes to win. This is the 11 second class about to go down. Left and line, the BMW takes the win. Left hand line, the Ilux takes the win. Clean pass for the left hand line, and that's a win for Richard Van So these guys were changing the head gasket last night on his last run last night. He blew the head gasket. They were changing it through the night. This morning he had issues, but he's back. Right and like right naughty in the TJZ Crescida takes the win. Naughty does it for the people in his town one time. Both are back in the left hand lane. This is a 12 second loss. Seven point nine nine seconds is the breakout for this. 
class. Left hand line, the Corolla takes the win. Left lane takes the win. Now, next, we got Sean Kelly in the right hand lane. Nine is a breakout for this class, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so this is 10.5 to 11 second class. That's exactly what this is about. The left hand lane broke out. He ran a faster time than he was supposed to. So the right lane, who barely made a pause, he continues on to the next round. Okay, next up, these guys are running the 9.0 to the 9.5 second class. So they can't go quicker than a 9.0. Okay, so apparently. Apparently these are the only two in class. Apparently these are the only two in class. So the winner here takes the win for this class. And the right and line takes the, the win. all the way from KZN takes the win. One time. Finish time at 9.5 seconds with 215.2 kilometers per hour. Welcome to the Dark Raceway, ladies and gentlemen. This is the elimination. Hey, this is right. The spelling is right. The spelling is right. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. 
This is the 11 second guys again. and then the Corolla will take the win. He backed out of it. He saw his opponent won't make it, so he backed out of it. He's definitely going on to the next round. Right lane takes the win, and that's Levat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so next up, he's got a buy run, and the car behind him has a buy run. Doubt they'll be making full passes, but let's see how they take it. Mistaken. That consists the racing for round one. Pretty sure they're going to redraw. We'll be moving to round two. This is a class A final, ladies and gentlemen. That's correct. 14 second class final. Left hand lane takes, takes the win, that's Brindley, here at a 16 second, that's 82.6 kilometers per hour, right evidently tapping off near the, the 400. Left hand lane backed out of it. They're just about to fall down too. First up is Eddie in the Cupra. He's obviously in the 13 second class going up against the Caddy. <laughs> Right and lane takes the one with a 13 0. Eddie broke out with a 12-9. Tristan takes the win in the right hand lane. Due to the left hand lane breaking out. This is still the 13 second class. The 14 second class is finished. There only had two competitors which we saw. Break off class B. And she's going to Funny about 14 year old girls, they know what they're doing in the drag strip, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Left hand lane takes the win, right lane Left broke lane out. takes the win. Louise Dowd. Up next, we got Eugene. Under so this is the 12 second class, and he's got a bye. Break out is 11.99 seconds. Nice and easy, making sure he stays in the safe zone and doesn't break out 
Left hand lane, lane. the golf the takes the win. With a 12.42 seconds and one at a 7.2. He's got a buy. Nice and easy, and that's how you stay safe and get yourself closer to the 250,000 rand cash money, young money. This is the 11 second call. Left lane takes the win. Left lane takes the win. Levert one time. The 10 second goes up next. GTR going up against Kellen in the M3. Then lane, Kellen takes the win. The golf unfortunately just broke out. He was supposed to run the pause. So the pause goes on to the next round. Next up, they're going to run the bikes. Kubis is running against Keith, and Raul is applying to the final. Left and line, Quebec State Sala. Okay, this is 9.5 to 10 seconds. We're on board with ropes again. He previously ran a 9.6, improving his own personal best and the world record. Let's see if he can take this one and maybe improve his best time.
Nine right lane, right lane with a 9.67.9 kilometers per hour. One time for the Rawlings family. That's a 1400 so that push ladies and gentlemen, doing the thing. 9.6 second passes for today. So I'm pretty sure you can count his first 9.6. I think it was a 9.62 or whatever. Pretty sure you can call that backed up with a 9.68. That is flying. This is the start of round three. There has been some finals, you guys would have seen that, but this is the start of round three. Starting off with 11 second class at this That's stage. The first Right hand lane, the Corolla takes the win, right lane, and I believe that was the 11 second class final. This is the final for the month. And the right hand lane, Quibus takes the right win. Right hand lane takes the win. Mr. Quibus on Vegas, the 9 second flat. This is the 13 second class final. Ladies and gentlemen. Left hand lane takes the win. This is the final for the 9.5 to 10 second class. This is going to be absolutely insane. He's running 9.6, he's running 9.5. Let's have a look. This is going to be crazy. Left hand lane, North, oh, he takes the win. Lane, he takes hold the win. One time, but he meant so far. But he exited well, with a 150. He done a 202 km. That concludes round one of SA National Drag Racing Series at Midvall Raceway. The next one will be at Desi. Like I mentioned before, I will try my best to cover all four rounds from Desi, PE and Kalani Raceway. All you guys have to do is leave a like, leave a comment and share this with your mates on Facebook and that should, that should help us grow the channel into what we, what we want and what we need to cover more events for you guys. That's it boys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion.